guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're walking into this latest phase for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. Now, a lot of you have been asking me what my passive source of income is. Since you saw one of my videos, I want to link it over here somewhere. So my passive source of income is the income I get from the side. Now, this is not a taxable income. Uh, not all of the incomes are taxable income. So if you're doing something like photo shoots or something, they're not taxable because you're getting it in cash and it's basically on demand. So it's not going to be a taxable thing for you. So that is how you get a little bit of extra money. Now, extra money is really good when you're getting it from something you really like doing. And extra money never hurts anyone, does it? No. And this video will also help people who are sitting back home right now and are wondering what can be their you know possible option speed till they have decided upon something i hope this video helps you and if you need any help or any doubts regarding to this video then comment down below don't comment about infosys or canada or any other thing stay to the topic please now the first way is to through apps that is instagram or youtube and to become an influencer now in case if you are wondering what an influencer is an influencer is someone who basically has a certain audience that is constantly following him or her for a certain purpose so it can be Quora, it can be twitter it can be instagram it can be even youtube but youtube is the one that is usually a little tough to crack so you can start with something like instagram try to build an audience and work your way upwards now in case if you already have an audience of around thousand followers on instagram for all the indian girls out there you can log in to plixo now plixo is a digital marketing platform by popexo so what they are going to do is that they are going to give you some campaigns, they are going to give you some free products and everything and you just have to review it. You just have to review it and put a picture on your Instagram and you're going to get something like 1000 rupees per post or 2000 rupees per post or even 500 rupees per post, it depends. Plus you get the free products also. Also you get chance to attend some of the events. So this is really, you know, good start for you because you start directly working with the brand. And plus the benefit is that you earn from it by just posting a single photograph. That's it. The second manner is through affiliate links. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, affiliate links is basically that you are making a unique link for yourself and advertising it. So when you do that, when someone clicks on it, just for clicking that link, you get money. And the easiest way to get affiliate link into that zone is through Amazon Associates. Now, Amazon Associates, all you have to do is create an account and host it on a website or a social media page or any other page where you think the link is going to get clicked. And the minute it gets clicked, all the clicks are recorded. And according to per click, you are paid something. And it is a very small amount. But the thing is that when you have an audience, you can actually use this. Now the next thing is content creator or stock photography. Now it can be anything like writing for blogs, it can be helping a blogger set up their business and everything and writing posts on their behalf. So all you have to do is that you have to associate yourself with some companies and some bloggers, send them their, you know, your pieces of work and everything. And if they like you, they're going to keep you and they're going to hire you. So what you can do is that you can write on behalf of a company and they will give you all the specifications, requirements, everything, and you're going to get paid for it. I mean, if you love to write, then this is an amazing opportunity. That, that is at least what I did in my college, and that is how I used to get some extra pocket money. The thing is stock photography. Now, stock photography is photography for commercial purpose. Your professional photographs can now be used for any commercialization purpose. So any company or any brand can take up that photograph and use it and giving you the royalty for it. So you are just going to earn from a single photograph or a video or a time-lapse video, anything, but you're going to earn from that. And that is a great thing. I mean, you're sitting back home and your one picture gets sold for like 10,000 rupees and you're good to go. Now, the next way you can earn money is through online surveys. Now, online surveys is not a very um, popular option, but it is there. There are a lot of, lot of companies, online companies out there. You just have to Google it and register yourself. So when you take a survey and it can be a psychological survey, it can be an emotional survey or an IQ survey or a survey about the Indian products or any other products doing in a market. And you just have to fill the survey with all honesty and truthfulness. Even They won't even know if you're filling it truthfully. But you have to do it from your part. 
and you're going to get paid for it or either you get paid for it or if you're like for example if you're filling a survey about xyz products instead of paying you for that they are just going to send you the xyz products so that is again an easy way to save money because you are directly going to get the products and honestly when i was in infosys i used to get my shampoo my face scrubs my face wash my lipsticks all through that method so i was really glad about it. now the last one is virtual assistant now virtual assistant is the most unconventional one that's why i've kept it in the end it is the thing that you are going to be a virtual assistant for someone so for example someone is running a consultancy business and they every day need to get their emails organized or their cvs filled out or something of that sort so you can be a virtual assistant you can sit in some other part of the city or town or country any place and do the task for them so every morning say 8 a.m they are going to give you a list of tasks and you have to submit it by 4 p.m so it is extremely useful that you can just you know have your laptop your computer get it done send it and you can be at any place you want to be now since you have the deadline to send it till 4 pm you can even send it till 2 pm and be free and you're going to get paid on the basis of the task you are doing not on the hours you're working so that's another great thing all these tips remember guys are something where you really need a camera or a niche for that thing that you need to be a little interested in content writing or photography and you need a camera for that especially when you are doing stock photography you cannot you know just use it uh, a regular phone and do it either you really need a good camera phone or you need a dslr or something so i would really advise that if you are you know looking forward to go in this direction of creating videos or content or content writing just do a little bit of research and see how much investment is required and if you're investing that much and if you're passionate about that thing are you going to get a return of in that investment or not so guys you found this video useful and if you want more such videos then do subscribe to my channel and remember a little extra money and passion does not kill anyone